Hello, I am Dan, along with Robbie. We're the owners of Casting for Growth. Our company provides worm castings and worm tea brewers of various sizes to farms, golf courses, athletic fields, lawn care professionals, and homeowners. Today, we will be demonstrating how to make nature's finest liquid fertilizer, worm casting tea, using our five gallon brew kit. But first, we will give a brief introduction of worm castings and the benefits offered by these two products. Worm castings are an odorless organic fertilizer and soil amendment that can be used in your home as well as outdoors. An effective way to use worm castings is by creating what's commonly referred to as worm tea. Worm tea is produced through a simple process of soaking worm castings in water with an abundant air and food source. This process significantly increases the density of microbial life naturally found in worm castings. These microbes manage the plant's use of nutrients while also providing protection against disease and insects. For these reasons, worm castings and its tea will outperform any other growing method without harming people, pets, or the environment. Now we're going to walk you through the process of brewing a batch of worm tea using our five gallon brew kit that's available through our website at castingforgrowth.com. Five gallons of worm tea is sufficient to cover up to an acre of plant life, which is more than enough to treat an average residential lawn and its landscape. This is a very simple process, it takes only minutes to set up. If you can brew coffee, you can brew worm tea. The materials needed are seen here in the five gallon brew container with our D9 aerators. You can see at the bottom, provides the strength of the brewer because it ensures air is evenly distributed in all parts through the brew, allowing microbes to grow aerobically. You also need three pounds of casting for growth worm castings, which contain the largest variety of microbial life known, providing much more microbial diversity than simple standard compost material. For the food source, use unsulfured molasses and a high volume air pump is required with your air tubing. You cannot have too much air, but you easily can have too little. To begin the brewing process, be sure to pull the air hose through the pre-drilled hole at the top of the bucket, then fill with water, leaving about four inches of room at the top for the foam head that will form. Next, connect the air hose to the air pump, then plug in the pump. It's always a good idea to place the pump higher than the water to prevent backflow should your pump lose power. If you're using chlorinated or city supplied water, Allow the pump to aerate for approximately an hour to off-gas any chlorine that may be in the water. Now you're going to mix a quarter cup of molasses in a glass with water until it dissolves and mix into the brew. The final step is to distribute three pounds of casting for growth castings over the container's bubbling surface. Be sure to place the container out of direct sunlight and let brew. During the brewing cycle, a foam head should form on the brew as seen here. The foam head is a positive sign of multiplying microbial life. The brewing process should take no longer than 24 hours assuming temperatures are above 70 degrees. And the tea must be distributed to your plants within two hours from disconnecting from your air supply. This is necessary because the created microbial life needs a constant food and oxygen source. Our kit contains everything required for your first three brews and in a set of instructions that includes how to identify a questionable batch of tea, methods of application including when best to spray, how to clean the brew kit and why cleaning is important, how often to apply worm tea and what to do with the leftover castings. You can't grow it better than worm tea and you can't buy any chemical as economical. Visit our site today, order the five gallon brew kit and make a real difference in the growing success of your indoor and outdoor plants flowers, vegetables and grasses in the greenest way possible. We appreciate you being with us and for watching our video. We look forward to seeing you in the next session. Thank you.